I mean, she was beautiful. She had a great career. She had money. Um, she had uh, fame. She had, um, I mean, everything. You know, she was just at the top of her life, uh, essentially. And the most amazing person I ever met. Immediately after everything happened, I, the first person that I called was my coach. And I called him because he's a, a man that I respect, a guy that I look up to, and he's a, a, a man that loves God. And uh, for me, I needed somebody that could sort of be kind of a rock in that moment. And he literally picked me up and dragged me out of that, uh, the condo and hearing the siren our security guy came and picked me up in that car and that car ride was just silent. He didn't say anything. He just sat there with me. And I, there's nothing more he could have done. He stayed up the entire night. I, I remember I, I just leaned on, I leaned on his shoulder and I just cried the whole night and he just sat there, you know, and he was just there with me. I really thought that uh, how, how this pain and this feeling that's something that she felt. You know, she felt this pain that she couldn't escape. It, that's a life. You know, I still can't really fathom it. The hard, a really hard part about it was that the media got a hold of it, and um, it was a huge story. And it's it disgusted me how how uh, things were handled, um, and how the press just kind of attacked it like it was not, in a very insensitive way. You know. And it was something that was so personal and something that affected me so much. That moment was really hard for me to just walk back into the world and think that may, some people might see me this way or think that I, um, that this is how it was, you know? The last thing I wanted to do or like I felt like I needed to do was defend my case or talk about anything. All I cared about was Gia and her family, my family, and getting through this. Coming back to my team here, all my, the guys were great. That was such a hard process. My coach actually called me and told me uh, like about a month and a half after the funeral in New York that he wanted me to come back and play basketball. He thought it would be good for me, which it was. But in the, in the time, not good at all. It was, it was frustrating. Uh, it was something I battled with him about. And uh, there are great days and there's not so great days. And I think I've really learned how to handle those not so great days a lot better. It had to take a lot to talk me into getting therapy. Um, I didn't want to see anybody that I didn't know. It's really, it was really hard for me to talk to somebody that has, that never has experienced this and wasn't there. You know, I, what do you say? And that kept going on in my mind. And when I uh, finally got it, got talked into going to see this therapist, um, my mom actually really talked me into it. I can't describe you how valuable it was. It took me a while to feel comfortable to talk to this guy. It took me, uh, there were a few sessions when I'm like, this is pointless. This guy isn't even giving me the right advice, you know? But there isn't advice, you know? That's the, that's the thing that I think people think if you go to a therapist, they're just gonna, um, they need to give you the perfect thing to say or the perfect prescription. And, I've heard that so much, especially this past year with people telling me their struggles with therapists. And the thing is, it's, it's the most important thing is you pouring yourself out to somebody. That's what it was about for me. It was about talking to this guy and letting everything in that's going on in my mind and in my heart and, and everything out. I don't know why I'm an NBA player. Uh, I'm surely not a LeBron James type guy where I'm all over the place or everybody knows who I am and I don't really care because I don't think that I should be here anyways. I'm a freak in my family. My mom's 5'8", my dad's 6 foot, my sister's 5'6". Six. I'm 6'10", six, where the heck did I come from? And somehow doors are open where I'm an NBA basketball player. My dream has come true. Why? And it's the only reason I can think of is, is to give me this platform to help people in a very specific way because I think people kind of 
I think that uh, being a professional athlete means you got the life. Or if you're a celebrity, you got the life. And again, I'm not like these big time celebrities, but I think I have a unique perspective in saying that uh, life is much, there are much more important things in life. A lot of people are afraid to go up on that stage like in an AA meeting and tell their story. And I don't want to be afraid. You know, I, I, I think it's healing for me. And I think, um, it, it, I hope and my prayer is that it will help somebody that's going through the same pain um, to understand that they're not alone. So that's really, that's the goal of this foundation that I'm trying to work on getting started up with Gia's family. That's the basis of my life moving forward. That's the basis of all pain in my life is just to be there for people so that they know that they're not alone.